Okay, recording has started. Lee Cole here. Hope y'all are doing great. And I am super excited about this because I got my buddy Seth Bias on a little webinar with me, and you are currently looking at um, his new product coming out. Seth, it's coming out on the 23rd, I think. Is that correct? Yes, sir. The 23rd at 11 a.m. Eastern. Awesome. It's called Reputation Prestige, and we're, we're just going to do a little review about this. Seth and I have been planning this for a few days. We're just going to kind of talk about what it is, you know, why you might be interested in it, um, figure out if it's right for you and your business. If so, Seth's stuff has, is, is just golden in my book, and, you know, if not, that's cool, too. Um, Seth, you want to just tell us a little bit about this, you know, without giving away the farm, just kind of the... Get, give us a general overview of what this is and what people can expect out of it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, basically, Reputation Prestige is using and harnessing the power of Facebook to find offline clients for you. Mm -hmm. And then basically what I teach inside the course is targeting down um, businesses. And from there, put them on like the follow-up sequences and squeeze pages. Basically, it's all about harnessing Facebook to find leads, offline leads for reputation management clients and then closing them all from the power of your house. You don't even got to leave, no cold calling happening, uh, no direct mail. It's all from Facebook, all online. It's very simple and easy to do. I love that because, you know, when, when this whole offline thing got started and people like me started realizing that, you know, we had a lot of stuff that we could sell to businesses for a lot of money, getting clients, is, you know, it is like 80% of the battle. And um, it, it hasn't been until very recently where we've been to the point where we can actually use the methods that work so well in stuff like affiliate marketing and stuff like that in order to get offline clients. And this looks like the kind of thing that's kind of marrying those two things because you got the Facebook, you got the squeeze page. Uh, it sounds like it's a little more automated, no cold calling. I mean, you still got to interact with your potential client, but uh, this sounds like a good thing. Um, yeah. As far as um, how accessible is this to people of various skill levels? Because, you know, teaching offline marketing, I, I, I find that that's an issue with people getting into offline marketing. So, in, in other words, could, could like a, a person who wants to work, I mean, you got to work, but who's a newbie to everything, is, is this something that's accessible for them? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um... You could pick a person that's never done this at all and be able to be a professional at it in a couple of days. I mean, Facebook ads and the way the platform is, it's very, I mean, obviously a lot of people get nervous about it because, you know, they're spending money uh, pay per click, you know. But once you kind of get the gist of it, just like you said, it's kind of autopilot. You know, it's, it's very, uh, we're blessed with this kind of technology nowadays to be able to, you know, harness the power of some other platform to get our own clients and coming in to, uh, for us, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I'm loving that. And as far as people getting all worried about spending money, yeah, when you do Facebook ads, you do spend money. But so, I think sometimes people think about Google ads where, where you can drop a ton of money fast. But, you know, with Facebook ads, A, they're really pretty cheap, and B, you can always put a spending, a daily spending limit on that. Yeah, so. there's always a spend, spend, spending limit on it. Like you can do, you know, $10 a day, mm -hmm. $25 a day. It just depends how much you want to spend per day. So, so you can kind of creep up on this without just betting the farm. You can tweak it, creep, creep up, go through the learning curve without spending several hundred dollars on stuff that's not going to do anything for you. Love that. Um, as far as reputation, I mean, this is reputation management, basically. That's the kinds of services that you're selling. Can you tell me a little more about what type of thing someone who buys reputation, prestige, what type of service they would be selling to a business? Yeah, uh, basically uh, reputation management for businesses would be like uh, online reviews. A lot of negative reviews are online and uh, businesses, you know, very, uh, they filter online when they have bad reviews because a lot of people look online before they go to the businesses. So what they'd be selling is services to get more positive reviews online, you know, make like a review funnel and help them get more positive reviews out there so when people look online for someone's business they, they'll be e easier to close because they're like oh there's 20 guys here saying this business rocks I'm gonna go I'm gonna go here you know what I mean right yeah you know you you've got a business with one bad review and they've only got one review then that's going to kill 
a lot of people, you know, who go to Yelp or go to wherever, they're going to look at that one bad review and say, man, I'm not going there. But if you got one bad review and 19 good ones, then, you know, I mean, nobody likes everything all the time, right? So, you know, a lot of people be forgiving and say, hey, 19 people like this, one didn't. You know, that's just his life in the big city. I'm not worried about it. I love that. Now, in terms of what you just said, the review funnel, um, you do have an OTO to this, right? Yes, sir. And um, uh, <laughs> Sam, you called me sir. That makes me feel so old. I know. I am too, man. I am too. I, I, I grew up in those one of those families where you get popped on the butt if you didn't say sir. Yeah, Southern. I get that a lot. They're like, don't call me ma'am. I'm like, sorry, ma'am. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I understand that. I, I totally understand that. I, I was just messing with you. But yeah, the you you've got a plug-in, I think, that is the OTO, extremely reasonably priced, and we, we don't need to mention the price because that's not fair to you, but it's very reasonable. But in terms of handling this review funnel, can you expand on that a little bit? Oh yeah, this this plugin is built to create an entire review funnel for someone's business in under sixty seconds. Uh, basically, it's push button plug and play, very simple to use. I have training videos on it, but this thing will build out the funnel that you can use to go on and you know close $500 a month clients just using the same funnel. Um, and it takes like 60 seconds. So the leads that you do bring in from Facebook and everything from the front end, you can just flip them right to the plug in and be like, hey, you know, I want to do this review funnel for you. Put the plug into use, it takes about 60 seconds. They're going to think that you're, you know, reputation management gods. And you just got to have really, a lot of goodwill with the client. Surely, surely. Now, um, I think from what you told me before we started, um, actually we were chatting on Facebook some few days ago, but this plug-in basically, if, if someone goes to the, it, it, it's like these review portal things. If someone goes to the page and, and they have good thing, you know, they think they're thinking positively about their experience with the business, then this plug-in sort of shuffles them off to like a review site or something. Is that right? Yeah, basically when they when they fall onto the uh, main portal, it says business, the business name, and it says if you had a negative review, click here. Positive review, click here. Okay. Mm -hmm. If they click the positive review, it's going to put them to another page that has like Yelp, um, right. basically all like the review sites that you can go onto online. Mm -hmm. Now, if you push the negative review, it's going to go to like a contact seven uh, email form. Right. And the genius behind this is what you can sell your clients is like, look, if they have a negative review, that negative review is going to be emailed back to the business owner right. so he can deal with it internally and not have it out on the Internet. So that's what really positive thing about the reputation funnel is uh, negative reviews won't be on the Internet. It will be uh, fixed internally, so it brings more goodwill to the business. Yeah, I was going to say that. It's, it's not only that you sort of intercept that negative review before it gets on Yelp and stays there forever, but it gives the business owner or the manager a chance to get in touch with that person and, and make it all good and, you know, get get them back as a, uh, you know, client or customer of the business and, and happy with the business. Yeah, that will definitely increase, you know, goodwill with the oh, community absolutely. and customers for their business. You know, because a lot of times, I mean, so, some bad reviews are just malicious, you know, like from disgruntled employees, but some of them are just from people who just have a short fuse and, you know, uh, just intercepting that and saying, hey, how can I make this good? Uh, that goes a long way toward building a good clientele for business also. Well, this is really cool. Uh, I'm loving this because it, it looks like to me you've got the whole package. You've got the most important part, which is how to get clients for someone. In other words, how to get somebody to pay you to do this. And you've got the whole service worked out. You've even got a plug-in that will do it. It's all very reasonably priced. I mean, th there are some portals out there that cost a massive amount of money, which is a little tough for somebody kind of starting out, but, but you've got this all reasonably priced. And that is really, really cool. This is a very, very slick system. So, again, it's launching on the 23rd of January, 11 a.m., and, folks, anybody listening to this, I will send you a link to it. Got any questions, hit me up. I uh, need to ask Seth anything specific about it. Let me know, and I'll pass that on to him. Seth, thank you so much. Thank you for having me on, man. You bet. I'll talk to you soon. All right, you too.